it's a ponytail and a black headband, and then the ponytail is looped. So first thing we did was blow dry the hair straight with um, Bumble and Bumble thickening spray. And then we used a little bit of the contour cream to finish it to, for the flyaways. It is graphic and it's very elegant and simple, but at the same time, it's not that far from something a woman could wear to go to the gym or something. So there's a sporty element to the hair and to the collection. It's quite a sporty, fresh look, actually. It's a kind of no makeup makeup. We're doing a little bit of a gorgeous sort of orangey peach on the cheeks, so it gives that slight sun-kissed look, and a little bit of a cherry-colored lip. They're a little bit like a lollipop, you know, like you've been sucking a lolly. So it gives you just this very, very soft stain. And then we're just adding a little bit of Egyptian magic, which is this kind of Vaseline kind of thing, to give a gorgeous shine. So it's very fresh, very sporty, healthy. Sporty, artsy as well. The reference of art and the reference of sport, both together, mixed, fused. One part was skin tight and you could really feel the body and you could see it like an athlete would wear. And the other part was about feeling the body inside the clothing, because the clothing moved. So it's a lot about movement and speed and agility and charm. You know, I think a lot of people, when they think about Vera Wang, they think kind of uptown, beautiful, polished Park Avenue. But I love the show today because it was unstructured, it was minimalist, it's very downtown cool, and with a touch of athleticism, which was really lovely. I thought the vibe of the show definitely had a sporty feeling, which, you know, just feels very modern and it feels very right now. I think the clothes, showed the sportiness beautifully and I think Vera being a former athlete herself I think understands that vibe more than anything. I really liked it. I thought it was the best collection in many years. I like Vera Wag stuff but I liked the way it had an athletic quality and took it somewhere new. The kind of technically finished, expensive fabrics like Kazar and Chiffon that are made to look like high performance things. So I thought it was quite revolutionary. And I thought you could wear the clothes to the gym, to the office and a cocktail party. And you can't say that about many designers. second half all the evening thing, the colour of the season, cobalt blue, and this kind of arty use of layering I think is very nice. I see lots of layering here in New York, but plausible, it's all very light and chiffony and things, and I thought hers was the prettiest. Vera, she's known for those red carpet gowns, her wedding gown. But you ever see the way Vera dresses every day? I mean, the way she's dressed right now. She's a leggings girl with lots of layers over it. She's always cold, so she always keeps like laying cashmere upon cashmere upon cashmere. Now it's for spring, so it's chiffon upon chiffon upon chiffon.
and a bit of mystery too. It's a bit of mystery running throughout the collection. Not only the black, but the feeling of seeing things sort of halfway. I like when Vera does lovely. When it looks ephemeral, I think she has a painter's soul, and especially the pieces that all came in the second half of the show, they're gossamer, they really are, so it's lovely.